Today being the 28th day of August. Wow, August is swiftly surpassing us. Am I here on the uh, steps of the Amashaba Police Station that located in Dundastown? And I am here every Wednesday for the past two years. I have to sign in here because the police, um, and I'm talking about Superintendent of Police Ewing and Inspector Remy Menace have failed to do their jobs as police officers. And I want the Commissioner of Police, Anthony Ferguson, this ought to have happened every time a new Commissioner of Police is appointed. And what Anthony Ferguson ought to do in this Marshall Police Station that's located in Dundastown, the place of my birth. You see, this has caused more ill will to me than anything in Abaco. You imagine um, the police, the guy on the police car, police working together for a safer Bahamas. And then they had something there, protect and to serve, but encourage and integrity. And when Mr. Anthony Ferguson was commissioned as the new police chief in this country, there's an awesome responsibility that went with that appointment. And if I was commissioner of police, this is what I ought to have done. I would have reminded police all over this country that they are all serving on the pleasure of Anthony Ferguson. You know what it means to be serving at the pleasure of someone? That means you have to learn your boss, your new boss, character, and to say, does he accept the garbage that's been happening previous? And I just want to say on behalf of Abaco and his residents, I want to thank the commissioner through way of video for him in indicating that Christian, you imagine this policeman named Christian, a boy got the devil in him. He's a direct seed from Satan. Christian Leary, Inspector Christian Leary. And I invite the Commissioner of Police to go a little further, get the video of him assassinating CJ at the plaza in Abaco. Whenever you see somebody's on the ground in America, they would have burned America. That town would have been burning right now. But there's some people that is there, there's not their kid, is there not their relative, so it ain't no thing. That's he problem. But in America, when you see a citizen is on the ground and the police put 13 bullets into his body on the ground, that is not something that this commissioner of police would do. Because again, Leary was serving at the pleasure of Anthony Ferguson. So I'm inviting Anthony Ferguson to go deeper into the crime that Kristen Leary has committed here in Abaco. I am here now today, every Wednesday for two years, have to sign in to this police station right behind here because Kristen Leitner arrested me in the presence of my attorney. You imagine, Commissioner Police, you have an attorney at the courthouse in Marshaba, and Kristen Leitner told Kai Mills that he's under arrest. Before my lawyer said anything, I know I did nothing wrong. I said, well, what am I under arrest for? I can tell you nothing. My lawyer said, you have to tell him why he's under arrest. He couldn't tell me why I was under arrest, so I came to this police station over two years ago. 
And Krista Leitner started to push me behind the counter here at the Marshal of the Police Station. And again, my attorney said, you cannot take Kai's liberty away from him. You have to tell Kai why he's under arrest. I am Kai attorney, and I'm asking you why he's under arrest. He said to my attorney, I don't give a hell who you are. Kai is under arrest. Again, my lawyer said, maybe you don't know the law, the way it's written, but you can't take a man's freedom in a fair with his constitutional rights without telling him why he is arrested. And Leary, a Christian as he is, pushed me behind the counter. Two years later, I'm still in court. I'm still going on on this case. So I want to thank the commissioner for doing the Bahamas good for getting this assassin, this criminal, this animal out of uniform. But it doesn't stop there with Kristen Leary at the Marsh Harbor Police Station, you know. I got a lot more to say. And I wonder if they only interdicted Kristen Leary because these girls' family members were also top-ranking police officer. You see, stuff like that has happened to me on numerous occasions and there have been no investigation. I'm calling on the Commissioner of Police, Anthony Ferguson, to do some investigation on the crimes that happened to Kai Mills and this police station. This station, right behind me, has done more crime against Abaconians than any criminals outside the police station. Listen to me again. This police station has done more crime, disrespected people's liberty, their constitutional rights, than anybody 120 miles Abaco is. And this police station has done more crime to the citizens of Abaco than any crime through Abaco. Do your homework. You're reporting here live on the 28th day of August, thanking the commissioner for finally getting a criminal off the police force. And there's so much more right here in the Marsh Harbor Police Station that is located in Dundestan. You're here live on WCAY.